we're gonna look at this from the side first. So here's your spine looking at you kind of cut in half like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are your cervical bones. One, two, three, four, five. These are your thoracic bones. If we roll to the back here, we took away five, six, and seven. We took a window like this. Mm. And so these back arches are gone now to make a window so that we could take, wash all that off, have access to the actual spinal canal, mm -hmm. but we don't put those back. Okay. And generally speaking, the thorax itself is reasonably inherently stable. Okay. And especially somebody who's infected, mm -hmm. we aren't necessarily going in and putting anything back. Okay. But when we go in on a reasonably stable area, take out the lamina, basically. So this is your spinous process. This is the lamina. We cut all this away okay. from T5 to T7 so that there was a window and anything there could drain away from the spine. Yeah. Okay. And we could get, I don't want to say aggressive, yeah. but we can get aggressively gentle at irrigating that area and okay. make sure we removed any of that infected fluid.